Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you with me. Are you ready to go off the beaten path and check out some sculptures? Well, before we get started, make sure you smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps get this content out to more viewers. Now we're here in Schaumburg, Illinois, and our travels take us to the Sh Chicago Athenaeum International Sculpture Park. So follow me as we check it out. This sculpture here is called The Awaking Muse by Don Lawler and Meg White. This sculpture depicts a female figure stirring from her slumber beneath the earth. Carved from Indiana limestone, this sculpture excites imagination and brings inspiration to its viewers. The Awakening Muse references the muse of Greek mythology. The Greek muses were goddess sisters who inspired mortals with great thoughts in the arts and sciences. This sculpture is called Eke Hora, meaning Behold the Hour. This adjustable sundial was designed and built by Chicago artist Christina Rojek. This sculpture is constructed of painted aluminum and includes fanciful hand painted figures which twist, dive, and somersault. They perform as if to say, If life's just a shadow, make it dance. getting ready to check out the next section of the Chicago Athenaeum International Sculpture Garden. There's two sections, one on each side of the Al Larson Prairie Center for the Arts. I came here yesterday but it was a little cold so I had to cut it short but this place looks amazing so I had to come back. Now it's time, let's play a game. I like trying to figure out what these artists envisioned when they created these sculptures. These sculptures are like a Rorschach test. Everybody sees something different. Now this sculpture is the world's largest game of Jenga. Drop a comment if you're that kind of player that's daring enough to take a piece from the top and hope it doesn't fall. Now here's my good buddy General Sos. This is the very man I have to thank every time I eat some Chinese. Man, I love me some General Sos. Hats off, General. Now we're coming up to the high dive, diving into the toilet seat. Now I'm just going to give you one guess here. Imagine you're on your first date. You're at a drive-in theater. Mrs. on the left, Mr. on the right. What do you think it is? Drop a comment if you know the answer. This sculpture kind of reminds me almost like a solar calendar.
Now this sculpture kind of reminds me of the old McDonald's playgrounds where you had them cool like bouncy back seats. Pretty cool. On the back here you got different motifs from the Egyptians, I believe the Mayans and other civilizations. If you look closely, it kind of looks like a face in the rock. There you see the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. It's like a dog's head. What I like about all these sculptures is in your mind you see one thing and it's 99% of the time it's different than the sculptor's original intent. But this one there's no mistaking, that's a dog's head. Looks like a crazy uh, Mayan something to me, or like a Western United States Indian. And in the middle kind of looks like a spoon with a hand waving. Uh, maybe a shovel there. Unique. Now before I look at the sign, this just makes me think of binary code, a bunch of zeros and ones in a ball. I don't know, binary code creates the world, I, I don't know. Let's see the sign here. Thought, rise, in a vacuum, 2001. Like I was saying earlier, it's what I love about these sculpture parks. It's whatever you think it is, really. Now that's going to bring this journey to a conclusion. It was a great time here at Chicago Athenaeum International Sculpture Park. It was a beautiful time just to get out in nature, hear the birds sing, check out a bunch of different sculptures. And if you ever get the opportunity and you're in Schaumburg, make sure you come down here and check it out for yourself. I want to thank you all for watching. Until the next one.